Good afternoon and welcome to the Netherlands. I've just finished filming aboard this 1931 Stephen Brothers 43 commuter for my main channel, Yacht Boy. I've just finished doing a detailed walkthrough and if you'd like to see that video, then make sure you click on the link in the video description. But what I wanna do in this video is just show you around and show you some of my favorite features on board. This is a boat that has really, really struck a chord with me because talking to the owner a few minutes ago, he was explaining that in the 30s, obviously towards the end of the 30s, when the Second World War started, this boat was actually commandeered by the US Coast Guard. Uh, she was taken into active service uh, and served around the San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, making sure that no Japanese submarines got into San Francisco Bay. And after she was used by the US Coast Guard, uh, she was then commandeered by the US Navy. So as some of my subscribers probably already know, uh, being an ex-Navy man myself, uh, yeah, being on board this boat has been a real privilege uh, because of her Navy kind of heritage. So anyway, let me show you around and point out some of my favorite features. Uh, we're going to board on the port side here. Uh, considering the year of build, she actually got really wide side decks, which um, is really surprising. Also, we've got a handrail uh, running on the port side and over on the starboard side as well. Uh, help keep you safe, obviously, when you're out at sea. One of the things that I love is the fact that many of the original features, you know, such as this, is still on here. Uh, built by Stephen Brothers Builders, which if you're in America, you probably recognize that name. Coming to this area, which I'm gonna call kind of like a pseudo saloon and cabin because you could sleep two people in here if you wanted to. Um, lots of headroom. You'll notice as we're walking around, just how immaculate this boat is. You know, the current owner has had her for over 20 years uh, and has put so much time and effort into making sure that she is immaculate and she really is. You know, when you walk around, you can almost imagine, you know, the sailors in, in the Second World War staying on board uh, days, weeks at a time as they go out patrolling San Francisco Bay. Uh, you really can, it feels like you've gone back in time. That's what it feels like. Uh, but yeah, this galley, quite a sizable galley here we've got a two burner gas stove uh, one of my favorite features in this galley area has to be this original coal burner um you open it up the owner was telling me actually that it has been used you know what? i'm not going to open it because i probably won't be able to shut it again uh, but this has been used um and is in full use obviously so how many boats have you been on where you can say you've got a coal burner, uh, the, one of the original coal burners on board? Not many. But yeah, you, when you're in here, you don't feel like you're on a boat that's nearly a hundred years old. Those of you who are into your knots, I'm sure you recognize them. I could probably just about still manage a boat in um, and maybe a figure eight. A favorite features video wouldn't be a favorite features video uh, without showing you in the wheelhouse. Uh, and talk about a traditional wheelhouse. You've got a really good view around as well, almost a 360 degree view all around the boat, uh, were it not for the center uh, panel here. You've got the tender stowed aft. Look at that fantastic little tender. I wouldn't want to take that out into uh, some lumpy weather. But yeah, you can access the, uh, the port and also the starboard side deck, thanks to these two sliding doors here as well. Now, when I first saw these, I actually thought that these were the original throttle control levers, but they're not. Uh, they were made by a specialist company here in the Netherlands. When you look at it, even the engraving on it, and everything else. I mean, like I say, I thought they were the original throttle control levers, uh, but they're not. But something that is an original feature in this wheelhouse um, is the compass. Now, when you look in there, you can see it's actually lit as well, which is really interesting. But yeah, this is actually an original feature, an original compass 
So yeah, what you're looking at there is something that is nearly, nearly a hundred years old. Um, but yeah, great visibility. I mean, the stanchions are still narrow enough not to overly obscure your view. Uh, the ship's bell over there, that's not the original ship's bell. But yeah, it's just plenty of room up here. You can have some guests sitting behind you whilst you're at the helm underway, you know, enjoying the view. So really great layout. It's just blown me away being on here. Like I say, I've never been on a boat uh, that is this old. We come down here, you've got plenty of room to move around. So if you're staying on here with your partner and you want to use this as a double berth, obviously head end up there, feet end down here, uh, then you can. You're not really gonna be in each other's laps moving around, there's plenty of room. Uh, another berth over here on the starboard side if you need it. I love these portholes as well. Again, I'm pretty sure that's an original feature. But it almost feels like this is a new build based on the original design because everything is just so well kept but obviously it's not uh, we've got the head over here plenty of room for a boat of this size when it comes to the head another feature that i like is the fact you can open this and straight away you're in the chain locker uh, so yeah if you want to inspect your chain how easy is that and then we'll look in here there's so many little cupboards and wardrobes that you could quite easily get all the stuff you needed to take with you if you're going to do, you know, an extended cruise of maybe seven days, which I know by nautical terms isn't really extended, but it's long enough to go on your own little adventure. I might also show you the view when sitting at the helm position when you look around. Those big windows really help you feel connected to the seascape around you. Uh, but yeah, we've got the obviously the analog uh, dials over here. It is a twin engine, uh, so we've got the RPM gauge for the starboard and a port engine. Uh, oil pressure, ampermeter, uh, water as well. Another ampermeter over here on the port side. Classic ship's wheel. I'll have to find out whether that is the original ship's wheel as well over here we've got the handle for the searchlight but yeah it's just walking around there's so many features that i love because everything on this boat is just classic and if you love classic boats which i must admit i've become a big fan of these classic kind of boats then it's hard not to fall in love with her the amount of history and the amount of heritage that she's got but yeah, what do you think of this boat? Let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to see the full yacht tour, then make sure you head over to my other channel. I'll leave a link in the comments. If you haven't already, please don't forget to give the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.